everybody, it's Angie, Treasured Vintage. Today I'm bringing you a bracelet uh, extravaganza. <laughs> um, I had been, I had showed a box of brooches and I have a friend named Mary Luce and she is in Chile and she uh, is very faithful to my channel and she always makes a comment and I asked her what is her favorite jewelry to look at and she likes bracelets so I told her I was going to do a video of bracelets for her so this is for you Mary Luce hi I have uh, quite a few boxes of bracelets also so here's where we'll start I also have a big giant thing right here of bangles and such so let's get at it whoops here we go we'll start with these here's a little more modern one I guess it's a chain link and it has these little uh, faux pearls and then little bells on it so it it makes some noise. And this one is uh, really pretty, I think. With the, I guess that would be like, it almost looks like faux druzy, but it's, or, or a faux marcasite kind of, I don't know. But it's sparkly. It's very pretty. I like it. Mmm. My hand and my and my wrist doesn't look very good, but if you had a young wrist, you could rock it. <laughs> That's really pretty. And then this is an older. Uh, perhaps it's marked. I'm not sure. This is mid-century. Yeah, it's a nice, a nice early coro. So that's, that's a really nice one. I don't see any finish wear on that. It's really pretty. Here's another one. I don't think this one's marked, but I'm not sure. It's really nice too. No, it's not marked, but it's, I like the shape of it. Also, uh, mid-century, probably, both of those are probably 60s. Better try to put these back as I do them, because I'll have a big pile if I don't, I don't really want a big pile to clean up afterwards. So I've got this one with chevrons on it. And it is gold tone and white enamel or a cream colored enamel. I think I got that in a lot. It is not signed. And then here is a cute um, wedding cake bead charm bracelet with some golden type pearls on it. It's more modern. That's pretty cute. That would actually go go nice with that, I think. The colors anyway match. Not necessarily the style, but they don't have to. The style doesn't have to match. I have a shell, an old shell bracelet. I think there's one missing there. So that's kind of a bummer. One's missing. 
that's nice and vintage. Well, this one's nice. This is a Kenneth Cole reaction with the uh, with the toggle clasp. And it's a chunky circle in a matte silver tone. That's pretty neat. That would be good for today's jewelry. Should list that one. And here's a cute charm bracelet type. It's got all kinds of cute things on it, like a peace sign. And it looks like a denim pocket with love on it. And just some other colorful little charms enamel charms here's another something that might go well today in t with today's style the toggle and the chain and the silver tone heart Let's get something out of the bangle basket. This is really cute with the nautical theme. I'm not sure if that's wood, wood or plastic. It's probably plastic, but that's pretty cute. This one says genuine lucite in it. I think so I thought it said that and we have a this one's really nice I love the way it's tribal looking and um, carved they're chunky we have uh, Kind of an Indian type. Maybe that's cloisonne. I'm not sure. It does look like cloisonne because it's inside and outside. It looks like a good bit of the enamel is missing. Here it's dark in here and on the outside it's gold. I don't, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not, but I kind of have my doubts. I'm not sure. If that just all came off around the flowers or what. Still pretty though. Still pretty. I have so many bangles. It's crazy. Okay, we'll go back to the other box. And this. And a lot of people have these type bracelets with the jade and the uh, gold wash. With the Chinese symbols on. I'm not sure if that's gold wash or not, but... Maybe it's just gold plated. It's pretty. It gleams in the light. And we have this one. It has little stones on it that are that you can see through. So that makes it pretty.
And I had this one. Oh, this is a necklace, actually. I think I was starting to put things together to sell as, like, color lots. Um, so that's why some of the bracelets, some of the necklaces are in with the bracelets. does have a mark on it. Cute older, older bracelet, older like cameo bracelet with, uh, I think these are glass. You can tell that's old by the construction on the back. And we have some have some just chains with um, fish. Um, live your life. This one's cute. I'm not a fan of the fabric in there, but I might cut that out of there. I might just do that. That wouldn't be hard to take out of there. I think it would sell better if it was out of there. And this one's cute. This one's almost like Brighton. I don't see any, you know, nice B on it. So I think it's a Brighton wannabe, but it's still pretty. Still got a nice design on it. I like this a lot. I remember I got I got these at a yard sale for like a dollar or something. Um, the earrings and this bracelet. And I thought that would go with that. This little watch, which is Xanadu. I think it has a battery in it. I'm pretty sure my husband put a battery in that. Be easy to wear. And this one. Hematite. So they would all look nice together. This one's really cute. I I should wear that. Very cute. I like this one. Oh, let me get there we go. This one's nice. The boho beaded. But that is that's cute. I like that. It's got a lobster claw clasp. These are cold to the touch, the stones. Got a little heart hang tag on it. Not sure what that is. It doesn't have any words, just a little heart. And then I guess I also put these earrings in with it, thinking they would go with it. They're cute, too. Yes, they would go with that, wouldn't it? These are gray. Silver tone with a gray, gray bead on the end. I like the shape of the beads on this one. Got some flower beads. Little flowers. This is, 
I would say, I would call this patriotic because of the colors. Red, white, and blue. And it's just got a lot going on there. A lot of different molded plastic. I don't think there's any. There might be some that are glass. This one feels glass. Here's a metal charm, American Pride. Oh, we need more of that. We need more of that. This is Mount Rushmore, which I hope, I hope stays up. Um, yeah, that's cute, I like that. It's a little stretchy with snowflakes. This is pretty. It seems well made. Uh, it feels good. And this one is a um, Ten Commandments bracelet. I've sold these before. So I think the ones that I had were gold though. Gold tone. This one's a silver tone one. Delve into the other box. Some, some chunky. I like this. I, I think that's. I like the colors. It's interesting and it's it's hefty. Big old clamper bracelet. It's always got a lace pattern. So it feels like it's soft, like vinyl. And it's got a brass tone to it. And we have this nice stretch um, enamel blue and gold um, bracelet, but it's a really good one as far as the stretch goes. Um, it's quality. It's a quality one, I would say, for a stretch, which I'm not big on the stretchies. These are nice. especially like this one with the etching. It's really pretty. And this one has magnets in it. And this one is a tricolored one. It has magnets in it too with the copper and the silver and the gold tone. They would look nice together. And I have a Mila Fiori little bracelet. Uh, the beads are small on it. I also have one listed that the beads are larger and it has a eloxal chain with it and uh, it's pretty cool. But I have that one listed. This one's just a smaller beaded one. But these, these are pretty popular. And here's just an 80s different colored stone one. Has a little bit of wear on the back. It's not too bad though. This is pretty. I think I think these are might be real stones. I'm not sure. Um, they might be angels, angel skin coral, and I'm not sure if they're turquoise or not. But um, and it has a real different kind of clasp on it, kind of like a trombone clasp, but but in a bracelet style clasp. So that's different. It had writing on it, but I couldn't read it. And then this is very cute. I should get this listed because it would probably sell. It's a nice summery, summery style floral bracelet. Um, very vintagey. 
me get it straightened out here so you can see it right. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Isn't that cute? I don't see any missing rhinestones or anything. And ugh, I don't know why that. That's pretty cute, isn't it? It's just vintage plastic in gold tone, but it's very um. I don't know, feminine. It's really feminine. See, the back is riveted. And it's got a fold over clasp somewhere on the back of it. More so on the back than on the front, but. Probably wouldn't see that very much. The findings don't look bad. The findings are pretty good. And there's, there's, oh, here's a petal missing. That's a bummer. I think it would still sell though. Just because it's cute. Similar to that one, we have the stretchy, a newer one with um, pearls and gray rhinestones. Kind of different, different look. And then just some pearl. Here's another stretchy with a rhinestone. And just this one, which I think is real. Real pearls in that one. And this might be gold filled or gold, I'm not sure. This is cool. It's all joined together. Mid-century bangle stack. Here we have a gold tone textured bangle. It's pretty. I don't see any wear on it. No name. It's nice though. It's got that Florentine finish. Here's an Indian type brass bangle with inlaid stone, so possibly turquoise chips. Here we have a, this is pretty cool. Um, it says something inside, what's it say? MK. Is that Michael Kors? I don't know. Or is it something else? Or is it MN? I can't read it. Or is it MNG? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look at that with up close without the phone being on. There we go. I think it's MNG. Anyway. It's different. It's kind of cool. I like that. There's another nice chunky one with brass or brass tone. And then the cream and black. Um here we have an artisan made beaded stretch, somewhat stretchy, coral colored. Bead wide bracelet. And this one is another one someone made. It's real delicate. And the crystals just sparkle in that one. Sparkle really pretty. I'm on my porch again. If you hear if you hear bird bird noises, that's because I'm on my porch again. I don't think I'm going to get this box finished. I'm certainly not going to get the uh, the other thing finished. The other big basket finished. 
This is a cute uh, Sterling cheerleader and little girl ballet slippers, little cap, charm bracelet. It's kind of got messed up here. There we go. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's a cute, cute sterling charm bracelet. I have a white, white house black market. Very beaded, chunky um, bracelet. White house black market. So I think I'm gonna stop there. Because it's almost 26 minutes that's a, that's long enough for now for any video and um, yeah this is cute right too new to sell on Etsy I, I think but I maybe I could put it in a craft lot or something because it is missing a stone there but I could put that in a craft lot and sell it and I think I will do that so look for, if you're looking for craft bags, I have one almost finished. It's in a big uh, gallon uh, bag, plastic bag, and I'm getting ready to list that on my Etsy store, dazzledbyvintage.etsy.com. This will be in it. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, I will do that probably today. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, have a very blessed day. And I will see you next time with more bracelets, more pins, or a haul. You never know. Okay, bye for now.